As the mud slides through Roberto Lugo's hands, the clay rises to challenge conventions and retell history through a new lens. The ceramics has for so long been used by anthropology to tell us about cultures, what people were eating, uh, what a party looked like, and um, I've just felt like my culture and community has been uh, absent from that dialogue. Lugo ceramics feature portraits of American icons of color. From abolitionist Harriet Tubman to the rapper DMX, their faces are emblazoned on delicately painted teapots and vases, the luxury items of history's colonizers, now vessels to empower those once marginalized. People that have come before me uh, through the civil rights movement, through my parents, um, all that energy has created an opportunity for me to now have the autonomy to make artwork. Lugo was born to Puerto Rican parents and raised here in Kensington, a Philadelphia neighborhood that struggled with crime and poverty. He had no formal art education growing up, but he was surrounded by inspiration. My art history classes took place in the streets, seeing graffiti, seeing mural art, seeing the portraits painted of black historical figures in Philly. That was the only type of art that I saw. And so ingrained in my mind is this is what art looks like. Lugo says as a young Hispanic, he was typecast by teachers as likely to go to prison. He painted graffiti and worked factory jobs until he enrolled in a ceramics class and something clicked. You know, I'm not the best potter. I'm not the best painter, I'm not the best portrait artist, I'm not the best rapper, I'm not the best graffiti artist, but I do all of those things. And the thing that is unique about me is as eclectic as those things sound, they all actually make sense for the human experience. The fine art world quickly took notice, offering Lugo international fellowships and shows. The Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York is the latest to display his work. That's why it's hard for me to but where he feels most accomplished is here, at an art fair in his old neighborhood, turning heads and teaching whoever passes that they too can defy expectations. Holding someone's hands and teaching them how to make a pot for the first time is, is magic. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah. Just showing to them that they exist and that they can create something. I think that that complicates even their own narratives of possibility. <laughs> Some of that. All right. Lugo says this is his greatest work of all, opening young eyes, guiding fresh fingers to create new possibilities and to reach to the past with pride. Heidi Jo Castro, Al Jazeera, Philadelphia.